Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with Ephraim in the Daily Dose of Torah. Yesterday we talked about the, the maneuver of evil people who want to say falsehoods, that they know they've got to pepper in, especially at the beginning, some truth to, uh, to hook you, to grab you. So um, how do you counteract that? It's not easy, right? You can try to counteract it with the truth. But you might not you might not be able to uh, to have enough of a of a hearing in the first place. The Torah goes on to say the following. So after they've like listened to their message, right? Ephes, which is in and of itself Ephes, which translates as I don't know. Ephes usually means zero, right? There's nothing. There's nothing good we can say. Right, it is uh, the people are very, as we said yesterday. Right, the people are very strong. And their people are, and the cities are fortified. We saw giants there. Did they really see giants or not? I don't know. Amalek Yoshev be'eretz hanegev, achiti ayibusiv amariah yoshev bahar bekni yoshev al hayam al yaharim. They lay out where all the different tribes of, of live, but just the choice to start that off. By talking about a malik, as soon as you say a malik, um, you throw people into a tizzy. They own a malik is is you know is that uh, that, that sinister people who attacked them just a few you know months months ago, almost a year ago. They attacked them from behind in a horrible way. They, it's, they're traumatized. So as soon as you mention a malik lives there, it's already going to get people going. So it's out of control. You can already imagine how people's reaction reacting before you hear them. So the next pasuk, Kalev sees this, Kalev sees what's going on, and um, the Torah says, Vayahas Kalev et ha'am el Moshe. Kalev, yahas, which is actually seen as a, uh, an, an, an alliterative word, um, which means he hushed them. He hushed the people towards Moshe. What does that mean, he hushed them towards Moshe? Um, so Rav Sajid says that by take Kalev Atam the Devar Moshe, he uh, he, he tried he, he got their attention so they should be able to pay attention to uh, to Moshe's message, right? Um, this is how you can understand Moshe's message, something along those lines. Um, but it would seem to me, and that's another Mafarshim will point this out. Um, he shtikes his svarno. He shtikes the am shehayu matchlim yaz latet kolam. He quieted the people who were already beginning to as you stir themselves, um, and, and that we know that they, they lifted their voices. Uh, I will. I, I can't find the point where I said it actually. Right? It was a maneuver. People had presumed about Kalev that he was he he had he had placed himself. Yeshua we knew was Moshe's boy. Kale, we didn't know was Moshe was, was, was going to be on this right side of history. And he had allowed himself to kind of align with, at certain points, with the rest of the Moragam, and they don't know where he's going to be. So he has an opportunity, at least, to him, get himself heard. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but sometimes you have to be smart in the maneuver when you're dealing with shady folks, at least not to show all your cards at the beginning, we're being told. Um, you know, in the complicated world of, of, of dealing with rotten people, how you position yourself so at least you have an opportunity to finally get yourself heard and then say what, 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 what is the earnest and honest thing, that's what Kalev lays out um, for the people here in that Pasuk. We'll uh, conclude this, uh, this little analysis, God willing, tomorrow. Have a great day.